This video is created by Jagrat Creations. I want to solve one sum that's of single entry capital comparison method and the sum selected is of basic level. Just observe the sum that I take care of for explaining the concept. This is the sum that I intend to solve here before you. Minu Parsania, Parsaria keeps her books of accounts as per single entry system. His assets and liabilities as on 1 4 2016 and 31 2017 are as under. These are the details of assets and liabilities given at the beginning of the year. This is at the end of the accounting period. During the year, her cash and goods withdrawal were 225750 respectively. She has brought up as 1050 additional capital in the business. Prepare a statement, show, statement showing the profit or loss for the year ended on 31th 2017. In this method, that is capital comparison method or net worth method, no books of accounts are maintained. No transactions are recorded on a regular basis. I don't want to have any information about cash transaction and the bank transaction. I don't want to know even the, what the credit sales are, what cash sales are, what credit purchases are, what cash purchases are. I am not interested in knowing all the expenses for the purpose of finding out the profit. The only thing that I need to find out the profit, what is his assets and liabilities at the beginning of the year. On the basis of that, I will find out its net wealth or net capital or capital by preparing a statement I like to balance it known as statement of affairs. And the similar statement will be prepared for the end of the accounting period. And by that I find the capital at the close of the accounting period. The capital that I have found or the net worth that I have found at the close of the year and at the beginning of the accounting period that will be compared taking into consideration the details of drawings and additional capital brought by the proprietor. In light of that we shall find out the profit for the business. Now for this sum as I told to you. First of all, I will prepare the opening statement of affairs taking into consideration all these details. Then I am going to prepare closing statement of affairs. I will try to find out the capital at the beginning of the accounting period and at, end at the end of the accounting period. And in light of the information given to me about this withdrawals and additional capital, I will try to find out the profit. Just observe the sum. Here I prepare statement of affairs at the beginning of the accounting period. This is the information that I am going to consider for the purpose of preparing this statement of efforts which is alike to bear energy. These are the assets and these are the liabilities. Total of assets minus total of liability. I will find out the capital, a balancing figure. Furniture being asset, the ownership right. This is assets under its ownership, value under its ownership. From that I will deduct its owings, liabilities. I will find out the capital. Furniture, building asset, machinery, then creditors I find, I write on the liability side, debtors I write on the asset side, investments, stock, then bills payable, being liability, bank court draft is also a liability, cash and bank balance asset. Now total of assets minus total of liabilities. I will find out the opening capital 30,000 that is the excess of assets over liability. This is how I find out the capital at the beginning of the accounting period. After finding out this capital, I will ask the trader that do the business in your manner in which you are doing business regularly. At the end of the year, I will go to him and ask the same details and he provides me this information for the end of the accounting period. And on the basis of this information, I will prepare a statement of affairs for the end of the accounting period and find the capital. Furniture 1800, building I write on the asset side, machinery I write on the asset side, then creditors, liability side, debtors asset side, investment not there, then stock, balance sheet asset side, bills payable, liability side, and this is cash and bank balance. From this total of assets, I deduct this liability, I find closing capital at the close of the accounting period. So his capital at the beginning of the year was 30,000. 
Capital at the end of the accounting period is 33,000. Now I prepare a capital comparison statement to find out the profit. During the year, his capital has increased from 30 to 33,000. So 3,000 may be identified as profit without taking into account if there are no drawings and no additional capital. But in case of there are drawings, it is to be added to this closing capital. The additional capital and the opening capital need to be deducted to find out the profit. Now see. This is the information given to me. This is the formula opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit is equal to closing capital. I make profit as a subject of equation. So I keep profit on one side, closing capital opposite side, opening capital, additional capital and drawings are transferred to the opposite side. So minus drawings be becomes plus drawings, additional capital and opening capital is being deducted. So formula is profit is equal to closing capital plus drawings minus additional capital minus opening capital. So I write that formula. Closing capital plus drawings minus opening and additional capital. Now this is the closing capital that I have found out by preparing closing statement of affairs. To that I add cash drawn, goods drawn. So 36,000 minus opening capital and additional capital. So I will get the profit that is profit earned by the proprietor during the year. This is how this is a simple sum wherein I have tried to find out the profit by capital comparison method. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.